second. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and lift off. Go safely. Go safely. Close to down range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. At T plus 30 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 40 carrying the Turksat 6A satellite. Now, after clearing the tower, we'll tilt or gimbal the engines on the booster to initiate a roll maneuver, which you may notice in the Stage 1 camera view. This enables the vehicle's antennas to stay in the best, position, nominal. In the best position for communicating with the ground. And in just a few seconds, we'll be throttling down the engines in preparation for max Q, or maximum aerodynamic pressure. We should hear that call out in about 15 seconds from now. Vehicle is supersonic. Max Q. And there's that call out for Max Q. Now, as Falcon 9 accelerates through the thicker lower atmosphere, the air density decreases. Falcon 9 passes Max Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure, once the air density lowers faster than the increasing speed of the vehicle. Now, as the rocket continues to ascend, be sure to watch the stage one telemetry at the bottom left hand corner of your screen to see these speed changes through ascent. The rocket typically needs to go 17,500 engine chill has started. 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth and get into orbit. Coming up shortly, we'll have three events coming up in quick succession, and we should hear all of these called out by Mission Control, starting with MECO, followed by stage separation, and then SES-1. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, is where we shut down all nine M1D engines on the first stage to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation, which is when the first and second stages of Falcon separate from one another. After stage one shuts down its engines and separates from the second stage, the booster will begin to make its way back to land, descending under the acceleration of gravity until it's time to relight engines for the entry burn. And second engine start one, or SES-1, is when we light the MVAC engine on the second stage for the first time. So watch out for these events happening just a few moments from now. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. And good callouts there for those three events, which again were main engine cutoff or MECO, followed by stage separation, and then second engine start one or SES-1 on the second stage. And coming up in just a few moments, we should hear the callout for fairing separation. And as a reminder, the two payload fairing halves are encapsulating and protecting the payload right now, but once the vacuum of space is reached, they're no longer needed to protect the satellite and it'll get jettisoned away. That should happen momentarily.